Hey ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another eFootball 2022 version 1 video. There are some things we simply can't tell from watching eFootball 2022 version 1 footage, such as how responsive it feels, what the dribbling and skills feel like, how easy it is to defend and make tackles. However, there are some things we can look at and focus on as we look forward to the release on the 14th of April. One of these aspects which I'm focusing on today are the goalkeepers. And to see if there are any good, if there are any new animations, whether they're an improvement on previous versions of Pez, and possibly if they're the most realistic and best goalkeepers to date. All the clips you're going to see today are from VGC's 85 minute capture and I'm going to leave a link in the description below to that video. We're going to kick things off with a close range save which looks very realistic as the ball sort of hits the goalkeeper on the shoulder because he doesn't have time to move his hands. The striker is simply too close. It is something we've seen in PES 2021 so you can tell they're pulling some of the animations from there which isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, in this next clip, it's another close range save after the Arsenal defender is dispossessed. The only thing I dislike about this one is that the keeper dies backwards. Yes, I have seen saves in real life where the keeper dies backwards, but not to the frequency we're seeing here, and which was also quite common in PES 2021 as well. One last close range effort where he makes a better save diving sideways instead of back towards goal. I absolutely love this next clip. It's something we've not seen since PES 2018, where the goalkeeper dives the wrong way, trying to predict where the striker is actually going to place the ball. This adds a far more human element and makes them far more believable in this new eFootball 2022. Let's take a look at how quick they react to loose balls. Komen plays a dangerous ball into Lewandowski, who jostles with the defender. The ball takes a slight deflection, and it's at that point Ramsdale comes out to collect the ball. It's good to see he's waiting to see what happens first in terms of that deflection before rushing out and wiping out both players without a sense of what is actually going on around him. However, in this next clip, I think the keeper diving is unnecessary and he should just come out and pick up the ball or play the ball out with his feet. Maybe even add a new command to instruct your goalkeeper if you want to pick up the ball or not. Now, while I'm quite critical of the fact that goalkeepers are diving backwards too frequently and he does so here, I think it's actually warranted in this clip as he comes off his line for the cross. So he has to dive backwards in order to make that save. We see a long shot here from De Jong which is caught by the goalkeeper. I think the animation looks super smooth and the speed of the dive also looks great. So no complaints at all about this clip. Another long range effort with a low prone save which also looks great. Here's another of my favourite clips in this video as the goalkeeper doesn't have time to get down to make the save with his hands but instead makes it with his feet. Again it looks realistic and the animation is once again super smooth. I've watched hours of eFootball 2022 version 1 footage and haven't come across one Superman save which looks unrealistic. As you can see in this capture the animation is still there but it's not used in an unrealistic way which we've seen in PES 2021 where they hang in the air. We'll see further evidence of this in this excellent clip that I've got later to show you in this video. So we've seen some of the saves, the animations, the reaction times. Now let's just take a look at some of the goals they concede and what could be better. Lewandowski hits an unstoppable shot here and I think the keeper should be rooted to his line sometimes. Like in PES 2017, if it's not too powerful and right in the corner, the keeper shouldn't even attempt to dive. And the same could be said for the goals from Lacazette and Ronaldo. As long as it's not too frequent, giving you an indication that your shot was really special. Obviously we don't know the level of the goalkeepers, but I really like that this low shot goes in and that it's not pinpoint accurate in the corner of the goal. Sane smashes a stunning shot indicated by the blue power bar and the goalkeeper attempts to save it which is fine here as it's quite close to him but the Ronaldo shot I'm really not sure he should be diving as he dives as it hits the back of the net. I do like the way goalkeepers react to conceding a goal whether it's hands on hips or beating the ground in frustration and when they make an incredible save they react with a fist pump or are congratulated by players nearby which really adds to the immersion. I love how goalkeepers almost pre-dive when crosses are played into the box, trying to guess where the striker will place the ball as Lacazette heads over the bar. And in this next clip we witness a new animation as the goalkeeper spins as he's diving to keep his eyes on the ball. If the goalkeeper's view is obscured by players, they will react and dive later than if they had full sight of the ball. As you can see here, two players are infringing the line of sight of the goalkeeper and he ends up diving far too late, conceding the finesse finish. 
Remember I talked about Superman saves? Firstly, I've never seen a goal in PES 2021 scored like this, but if it was possible, you know that Clark Kent would whip on that Superman outfit and save this type of shot. The technique of the shot and the way the goalkeeper attempts to save it is absolutely perfect. It's one of the best goals from all of the footage I've seen. I really like the reaction time of the goalkeeper here as the ball strikes the post. He doesn't immediately jump back to his feet. He's not even sure if he's conceded a goal or not. Although for the next stunning cross, I'd just like to see him rooted to his line as it's right in the corner and comes off the top of the bar. Ricky pointed this next one out in one of his videos that the goalkeepers no longer fly across the goal for penalty saves. They tend to stay within the confines of the post, which is great to see. In PES 2021, they would dive so far that they would almost be out of the camera shot. The goalkeepers will dive frantically when a shot takes the deflection, as you're going to see in these next few clips, each with a different animation based on the shot accuracy, the velocity, and how much further the ball has been diverted. Having played in goal myself, I think it's natural to dive when a striker is so close to goal because you're never too sure where your posts are or if the striker is going to apply some spin on the ball to whip it into the corner. So I'm fine here as Lacazette strikes the ball wide. I love the animations for goalkeepers getting to their feet in eFootball 2022. It looks far more natural, but now let's just take a look at a clip where I'm not too happy. Just look at the goalkeeper's feet as he tiptoes or shuffles weirdly as the ball goes across the box. Now let's talk about the distribution from the goalkeepers and why they've implemented certain changes. If you saw my last video on the new controls, you'll know now that there is a team press, where your entire team will press the opposition high up the pitch. Why did they implement this and how does it affect the goalkeepers? Well, in PES 2021 online, it was notorious for a player to score a goal and pass it around at the back for the remainder of the match. So with an eSports focus, they've increased the animation time it takes to kick the ball long accurately. As you can see here, the goalkeeper almost gets caught out. Obviously, the goalkeeper can kick the ball first time, but these generally don't look very accurate. So you're probably going to end up turning possession of the ball over if you try to attempt this. As you've seen, there are underarm throws, overarm throws, low kicks, high kicks, and you can even throw the ball half the length of the field. So just let me conclude and summarize my thoughts on the goalkeepers in eFootball 2022 version 1. In my opinion, these goalkeepers are very reminiscent of the goalkeepers in PES 2018, and that is not a bad thing. In fact, these look to be the best goalkeepers to date, with even smoother animations and no Superman saves in sight. The goalkeepers seem human-like, and from a realism point of view, it's great to see them try and guess which way shots are going at close range, and the way they've kept certain features from PES 2021, such as line of sight issues, being one of them. There is still room for improvement because I would love to see the animation from PES 2017 where the goalkeeper is sometimes rooted to his line as the ball flies into the top corner with power and he just puts his arms out visually asking how am I supposed to save that? Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on the goalkeepers in eFootball 2022 version 1. Anyway that is all for me ladies and gents. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.